you asked the question about if you should always practice for speed by going really slow. Yes. And the answer is not always. Okay. Okay. There are there are times to practice. There are times when you want to practice fast to play fast in order to practice playing faster. Yeah. Not all of the time. But if you always practice slow and gradually build up the speed, I don't believe that's the best way because you never push yourself. You have to. I mean, you have to push yourself, right? I mean, it, it's just like if you said, "I want to be a runner," and you just kind of run around the track and then gradually start running faster. Yeah. I bet you run faster if we send a mean dog chasing you. Yeah. Right? The form might be horrible. But I bet your body gets down the track. Yes. Okay. So it's okay to. I have to be careful what I say here because I don't want to be misinterpreted. It's okay to play sloppy okay. when you're practicing in some situations because sometimes perfection or cleanliness isn't the specific goal that we're working on at that time. Okay, speed is not always about how fast you move your hands. Sometimes it's about how fast your brain processes information. Okay? So it's one thing to be able to rip up and down the guitar. It's another thing to be able to rip up and down the guitar and actually understand what's clean and what's not. What was accurate and what wasn't. It's also another thing to be able to have the ability to go up and down really fast, but as soon as we put you in a real musical context, or you want to integrate this skill with that skill, you have a difficult time doing that because you never get that kind of practice when you play on arpeggio slow and gradually speed up. That's good for developing uh, precision and speed over time in a very precise way, but it's not good for integrating skills. It doesn't, it doesn't, that alone is not going to help you with the overall things, with all things related to how you would use speed once you have it. Okay. Okay, I also wrote a couple of articles on practicing for speed too. They're totally two different strategies and, and uh, those are additional strategies that you can use in addition to the, you know, the, the starting off slow and gradually building up speed. Yeah. So and when you take those three different ideas, the ideas in those two articles and what you just said, uh, it may seem that all of those are contradictory to themselves, that they, you know, it's like, well, make up your Tom. <coughs> Make up your mind, Tom. You know which which one do you want me to do? And the answer is all of them, because they're all, they're going to help you in different ways. Okay. You know who's your favorite guitar player? Uh, John Fischiate from the Red Hot Chili Do you know any guitar player? Do you like any guitar players who are better? Uh, I like a technically style. better. Uh, yes. <laughs> On technical level. I like uh, Stephen Schackinger, if you know him. Or Steve Vai from any bands I would recognize. Steve Vai. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Steve Vai. Okay. Do you think Steve Vai ever pushed himself, or do you think he always played as slow as possible and gradually built up the speed with the metronome his whole life? First. Answer. Yeah. And certainly he works with the metronome. And certainly he would, if he was teaching somebody, he would probably tell you. If, if Steve Vai was sitting here and you asked him the question, Steve, how should I practice to build up my speed? He would probably say, start off slow and gradually build up the speed, make sure it's clean, etc. Why would he say that? Because he doesn't have all day to go into all the theory about how each individual different strategy is going to benefit you because he's going to say, one, this kid's probably not ready for all that stuff at this point. His, that's reason number one. Reason number two is your primary challenge in this moment might be just to play clean at any speed. So that strategy is going to help you reach that goal. But if you came back to him in three years, and he saw you playing, and saw you had different challenges, like maybe you can burn up and down the guitar, but you can't integrate those skills together, he probably would stop telling you, well, kid, you go off and you get a metronome and you start off real slow and you gradually build up speed over time. Because yeah. now you have, you have a different set of challenges, even, even related to building speed further or using the speed. Yeah. Okay? So, you know, when you read and it's true with my own articles. I, I don't have a hundred pages of space in an article. And the website's going to publish a hundred-page, you know, manifesto on 
building speed, right, in an article format. Mm -hmm. You know, where you go into every possible strategy under all situations, and what the and the complete list of benefits and when to use it and how to implement it. You know, it's it, it's too big of a topic. So the answer depends upon where you are at what point. And also, I think in general, you take those three strategies and rotate them. Okay. Okay. When I see you next time, next year or whatever, maybe I'll offer a different advice. But for where, where I think you're at right now, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Okay. So if I was talking to Greg, I might say something different because he's at a different level technically. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. All right.